Okay, so what, what, how, how would you bring up a financial conversation like that? The, the young lady that uh, I, I dated recently, we bought a game. I bought this game for us. And I thought it was because we like to, you know, on Friday nights, we kind of like to stay in. It's uh, by Robert, Robert Kiyosaki. It's called uh, Cash Flow. It's like okay. $73. It's like $73 on Amazon. You should copy for you on Rachel. It'll be fun, right? Okay. And through the game, you really do learn about finances, bro. You, the game teaches <laughs> you stuff. And then after you finish the game, you or your partner will just, it'll, it's a natural sparking of conversation, right? And so that's how I do it. I'm never one to bring up finances off the rip. I think that that's a bit tacky, but it's something that I want to talk about before making it an individual, like my life partner, you know? Absolutely. It's funny that you bring that up, the game, because Rachel and I played Monopoly. Yeah. Uh, we purchased Monopoly, and <laughs> I had played that game so much when I was a kid with my friends, and the way I learned to play, it kind of reflected how, how I am with money. She was more frugal she like saved she would pass properties that i would have been like wow i would have bought that in a heartbeat like i buy everything <laughs> yeah like i buy everything and i actually beat her i started making hotels and she started landing on my stuff and she's like how did you beat me he's like she was trying to be so <laughs> smart about it but i don't know for whatever reason that strategy works and on monopoly maybe not so much in real life bro no real real talk in real life keeping all your money in a savings account truly isn't going to Help true, you win true. in the long run. Sometimes you gotta, you know, go out on that and purchase a thing or two. So oh no, I, really, I had things on mortgage. Like I was, oh no, nah, oh no, nah, you doing the most. But I came back. I came you back. You doing, doing the most? Nah, I was you, taking a lot of risk for sure. Taking a lot of risk. I love that we both play the game, right? Yeah. Like it, it it breaks it breaks it up. It's soft. It's sweet. You know, it's fun. But then you can also have a conversation afterwards. It's like, yo, how did you do that? You know, X Y Z. Yeah. But yeah. real talk, bro, you gotta play cash flow. It only Cash lasts flow. maybe two hours, maybe. And then when you get really good, like 75 minutes, right? Okay. It's, it's, it's pretty dope. You could do it in a, in a night and then have a All glass right. of wine. I'm, I'm, I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check that I'm, out. I'm, I'm buying you that. I got you. <laughs> All right. It's a little <laughs> gift from you, brother. I appreciate it. All right. One of the questions that I got was, how do I deal with my boyfriend feeling insecure when I'm making more money? Oh, I love this question. Okay. So... Obviously, we talked a lot with Dr. Lin about this. I think it's all about communication. If that is something that you believe bothers him in your relationship, you can't just let it be the elephant in the room and never discuss it because he's feeling some type of way about it. And those feelings are just going to linger. And then if they're not addressed, you're eventually going to get into a, a blow up fight. So I, I say nip that in the bud right away. And yes, how do you do that? Right. I mean, I come from a, a, a place of compassion. Like I, I would sit him down, just have an open and honest conversation about it. Like if you truly love him and care about him, then you're going to help him feel secure. Now, didn't say make him feel secure, because I think at the end of the day, that security in himself is going to ultimately come from him. But I think you can help him in a sense where. You could start off with words of affirmation like, babe, listen, who cares if you're making if I'm making more money than you? I love you. We're in this together. We're a team. You know, I don't think anything, anything less of you. And fellas, like at the at, when when she comes to you like that, like you have to be receptive to that. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like a lot of guys act macho in that situation and like try to brush that conversation off. Like you may have to step up and have that conversation and. Talk about things that you may not want to talk about, and that's your finances, that you're not doing well in your business or whatnot. So I think you definitely have to be vulnerable and set your pride aside. And if you guys come together like that, I think that you could move forward and, and, and be successful.